hope you are doing well. So this is the continuation of the previous. Mommy. Abigail, can you stop that? It's the continuation of the previous video, and it's in the afternoon. Maybe what time is it there? Sorry, sorry. What time is it? Five. Five. Let me check. It's four. <laughs> It's four, not five. So, yep. Um, I want to start the evening. So, come along. Spend the evening with us. And the table is here. What I like about this table is a shit table. So, can accommodate two people. Oh, another mirror. Sure, they are the same as she. So, I'm busy washing the laundry there. So, guys, this mirror is the same as this one. Oh, I want to cook. Are you going to help me to cook cocoa? Mm. Are you sure? Mm. Sure, sure. Today's dinner, I'm going to cook um, boss. Okay, this one is uh, Russian boss. This one is Bure boss. We um, spinach. The spinach is a lot. So I'm going to chop it and then divide it after then I refrigerate it. So, yeah. There's actually a lot to be done this afternoon. I have the laundry outside that I need to take out so I can take all the throws. I took the couches throws and some blankets and I washed them. So, yeah, and it's currently four. So it means if I put them now, I'll have to remove them around seven-ish, but it's fine. I guess Abigail's laundry is dry now. So let me just check. The pyjamas are dry. Let me check this jacket. Yeah. You mean when you say the village, like where? Bafon. Oh, okay. Bakas in one bedroom is like, sleep. I don't want to say, hey, 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 hey. <laughs> you are forced to sleep. We sleep by force. Understand because the girlfriend is there, we don't want to disturb her. For the spices, I'm going to use oregano, garlic flakes, turmeric, raja spices. Here's the thing with me. I decided to mix all my raja spices into one container. Your mild, mild masala, flavorful and mild, uh, medium and hot. And my Robertson spices as well. I mix them all. Your steak and chopped spice, your barbecue spice and chicken spice. And as for my spinach, I'm just going to cook it the traditional way, <laughs> the boring way. I know a lot of people prefer the spinach with mushrooms, they prefer it with potatoes, onions, tomatoes, but today, ah oh man, I'm not about that. Um, so I'll just be boiling it and then um, add a little bit of oil and salt. There's a video that I saw on Instagram just a few weeks ago. I saw someone adding water into the spinach. And I was like, 
while that spinach is cooking trust me the water is just gonna be too much because spinach has water itself when you cook it you don't add any water you just put it in the pot and put on the stove there is enough water in that vegetable and there's this other post that i saw on sa food on instagram they featured uh Pohishi Sehata's post so they were asking do you wash your vegetable before peeling it more especially your canned vegetables such as spinach do you wash it before cutting or you wash it after cutting it and most people were saying both <laughs> and other people were saying if you wash your vegetable before cutting it you're just killing all the nutrients in it <laughs> Sudden, I don't look at anything the same way Got a build up of my thoughts sitting in an ashtray I'm sorry that I'm so inconvenient, okay Just let me be me and I'll stay out of your way I can see the way you look at me, I'm such a disgrace I never really asked to be brought into Lately, I have been craving some pineapple juice mixed with ginger And the sad part is that my blender broke, I think, early this year and it's something that Francis cannot fix and I don't know where I put the sleep because it was under guarantee. But either way, um, Francis will be using the hand blender. I mean, it does uh, the same job as the blender. And yeah, um, he decided to add, pine not pineapples, apples and bananas and nargis. And then... He will be mixing everything together so i was like yeah but <laughs> abigail didn't love this juice abigail was like i don't like this juice at all i don't only to find out there's banana in that juice that's why abigail does not eat banana so <laughs> that's the challenge that we are facing and 
Damn, we love bananas in this house. We do love bananas. So I hope you are still enjoying this content. And kindly watch the ads and don't skip them. Um, comment down below if you have anything to say and give this video a thumbs up if you are enjoying. The pup that I'm saving now is the pup that I cooked yesterday so I just warmed it up and then I'll be mixing it with the pup that I cooked today. Lately I have been struggling again, being clumsy. My hands are so clumsy and when I check they say it's hormonal side effects more especially after giving birth and someone on my, I don't remember which video it was, someone said it's gonna take two years in order for my hormones to be balanced, in order for that clums clumsiness yeah to go away so i was like two years is a long time guys just look the mess that i'm doing just like i hate <laughs> being clumps i just hate that but either way i don't know if i was clumps with abigail or something that i'd never paid attention to but trust me a lot of women more especially postpartum moms they don't take um they don't really think about this thing they just think like ah it's normal maybe i'm doing something and then you understand but if you pay attention if you pay attention you will realize that uh, uh that's been clumsy honestly but uh, man it's life um i'm okay i'm getting used to it i'm living with it <laughs> i guess so if you have watched this video this far thank you so much for watching this video and i hope you enjoyed it thank you so much for your patience thank you so much for your support and i will definitely see you guys on my next one enjoy and tell me what's wrong and why you never said you felt that way And guess you're trying to stay strong and fake a smile until I look